When an intercontinental ballistic missile traveling at over 20,000 km per hour plummets from the clouds, has humanity finally found the answer to neutralizing it in the heavens before destruction strikes? This ultimate question that has plagued military scientists for half a century is now being rewritten by a crimson trail, slicing across the sky over the Gobi Desert. In the summer of 2025, both the US magazine Asterisk The National Interest Asterisk and the Israeli Defense Weekly Asterisk Defense Weekly Asterisk simultaneously reported a news story that shook the world. China's HQ-29 anti-missile system has been secretly deployed to the military. Photos of a six-axle 12 times 12 high-mobility chassis equipped with two giant launch tubes, each with a diameter of 0.9 meters, have been circulating wildly in military enthusiast circles. The chassis shares the same origin as the Dongfeng-26 ballistic missile, but features a revolutionary, one vehicle, two missiles, minimalist design in its launch mechanism. This is not an ordinary air defense system, but the world's first operational mid-course anti-ballistic missile weapon. Its existence will completely shatter the arithmetic logic of nuclear deterrence, with a range of 4,000 kilometers, a speed of 18 Mach, and an intercept altitude of 1,500 kilometers. These figures form a space great wall, four times the height of the International Space Station's orbit above the Earth's surface. The art of precision killing in a steel torrent at a test site in Inner Mongolia. The flexible cushioning flat-bottom structure at the rear of the HQ-29 launch tube absorbs hundreds of tons of impact force at ignition, smoothly propelling the missile off the carrier vehicle. This seemingly simple engineering marvel is actually the critical prerequisite for ensuring bullet hits bullet. The missile body is made of carbon fiber composite materials and in 15B high energy solid propellant, weighing only 38% of the US GBI interceptor missile, yet it can cover an intercept radius of 3,000-4,000 km despite being 40% smaller in size. When the missile breaks through the Kármán line into space, the dual-pulse solid rocket engine begins to demonstrate its orbital maneuvering magic. The first pulse propels the missile body to the predefined orbit, while the second pulse performs real-time maneuvering corrections based on data from early warning satellites, enabling the interceptor to lock onto the target with the precision of a cheetah pouncing on its prey. At this point, the kinetic kill vehicle, KKV, separates from the warhead and collides with the incoming warhead at a relative speed of 18 Mach. With an accuracy margin of 0.3 meters, the nuclear warhead explodes silently in space. This accuracy is four times higher than that of the US GBI interceptor, equivalent to hitting a coin 10 kilometers away with a rifle. The golden window to shatter the nuclear terror balance the true lethality of the HQ-29 lies in its precise targeting of the intercontinental ballistic missile's most vulnerable 20-minute vacuum glide phase. Once the ballistic missile exits the atmosphere, it cannot release decoys or perform drastic maneuvers, and its trajectory is as clear as a pen stroke in the night sky. China has previously established a tiered missile defense system, the HQ-9, is responsible for intercepting aircraft and cruise missiles within 260 kilometers, while the HQ-19, utilizing kinetic impact technology, specializes in terminal phase missile defense at altitudes of hundreds of kilometers, making it the world's first system capable of intercepting hypersonic weapons. The addition of the HQ-29 extends the defense depth to 1,500 kilometers into deep space, forming a multi-dimensional shield from the troposphere to interstellar space. U.S. strategic command simulations show that deploying four HQ-29 missile battalions in North China could achieve a 95% interception rate against incoming warheads targeting Guam. If deployed in advance on South China Sea Islands, tactical ballistic missiles from U.S. aircraft carrier strike groups within the second island chain would lose their deterrent value. When China can both launch, DF missiles, and intercept incoming missiles, the Pentagon's defensive myth collapses on its own. Russian media's sharp commentary directly points to the U.S. strategic weakness to offset the HQ-29's 50% intercept capability against nuclear warheads, the U.S. military would need to deploy an additional 400 nuclear warheads, a bill worth tens of billions of dollars, that would overwhelm its defense budget. From the Gobi Desert to the Deep Blue, the systemized skying at the HQ-29 is by no means alone, missile assassin, Behind it lies an intelligent sky net spanning from the James Shoal to the Qinghai Tibet Plateau. The WZ-10 unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, operates at an altitude of 20,000 meters, providing a reconnaissance radius of 2,000 kilometers. The X-band phased array radar's megawatt-class beam can penetrate the stealth coating of the F-35, while the space-based infrared early warning satellite constellation monitors missile exhaust plumes from any corner of the globe. On July 7, 2025, 
China's seventh land-based mid-course missile defense test successfully intercepted a target missile traveling at 6,800 meters per second. With a perfect record of seven successful intercepts, this achievement far surpasses the less than 50% success rate of U.S. and Russian missile defense systems, validating the operational reliability of the entire early warning prediction command interception chain. What keeps the Pentagon awake at night is the potential of the Type 055 destroyer. Its 128-cell vertical launch system and dual-band radar provide an ideal platform for the sea-based HQ-29. Once land-sea missile defense networks are integrated, the Western Pacific will form a de facto missile no-fly zone, granting China's Blue Water Fleet strategic protection comparable to an aircraft carrier strike group for the first time. This asymmetric advantage of integrated defense and defense is attracting Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates to express interest in the export version of the FD-29. Its single intercept cost is just $10 million, less than one twentieth of the US GBI's cost. Yet it grants smaller nations the strategic confidence to protect themselves without aligning with any side. The red lightning reshaping the global military landscape as the HQ-29 launch vehicle kicks up dust in the northwestern desert. Its shockwaves have already spread across the global strategic balance. Japan urgently upgraded its Patriot system, South Korea accelerated the procurement of new radar systems, and India's Agni-5 intercontinental missile paled in comparison under the shadow of the Qinghai Tibet Plateau. Its 5,000-kilometer range pride could be shattered mid-air by the HQ-29's kinetic interceptor before even leaving the country. Europe, meanwhile, is demonstrating a more profound strategic shift as the UK and India sign a free trade agreement. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen announces plans to advance CPTPP negotiations, seeking to carve out a third path between the US-China rivalry through diversified diplomacy, 2,000 missiles versus 44 interceptors. This stark numerical contrast which keeps the Pentagon awake at night, reveals a harsh reality. China's rocket force possesses over 2,000 medium and short-range missiles, while the U.S. military's Patriot and Thaod systems in the Asia-Pacific region can only support 44 intercepts. Moreover, the cost of a single Dongfeng missile is just $100,000, whereas a Patriot interceptor missile costs a staggering $10 million, a hundredfold difference in cost. When the DF-17 hypersonic missile performs a skimming maneuver at 10 Mach, and when the HQ-29 builds an impenetrable barrier in deep space against nuclear weapons, the balance of the age-old offensive-defensive struggle tilts toward the shield. For the first time, this may well be the historical turning point where humanity emerges from the shadow of mutually assured destruction. The sands of the Gobi Desert will eventually settle, but the flight path of the HQ-29 has already etched an eternal coordinate in military history. From the HQ-2, Defending the skies in 1965 to the HQ-29, pointing toward the stars in 2025, six decades of technological advancement have proven, true peace does not rely on the mercy of enemies, but on the strength to shatter all incoming arrows against the heavens. When the red lightning of 18 Mach pierces the clouds, the nuclear buttons on both sides of the Pacific lose their balance in the arithmetic of deterrence, history will bear witness that the scepter of strategic defense is quietly shifting eastward with the Earth's rotation.